Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna discuss how Hailey Bieber reveals details from her spicy bachelorette. Let's get right into it. The model Hailey Bieber married up to two times with her already husband, Justin Bieber. In two ceremonies that were held one year apart, in September 2018 and September 2019. The star of the catwalks enjoyed a farewell to the life of being single that had been organized for her by her best friends preparing for her second wedding. The most festive and crowded one. And finally, Haley has been encouraged to offer some curious details about the celebration. The model recently opened up during a conversation with Rosie Huntington Whiteley as a part of her recurring segment, Who's in My Bathroom, on her YouTube channel, and revealed that she and her girlfriends kept her party pretty balanced. The two models took part in a challenge that required them to create bouquets for three major events, a funeral, a backyard barbecue, and a bachelorette party, in addition to catching up while munching on some fingy sandwiches. As the two began arranging their bouquets for the bachelorette party, they debated whether the parties were more of a romantic or kinky occasion. Haley said, it's spicy on bachelorette parties. She also said, my bachelorette party was like everything. It was like straws. Getting to know about the details, the Mad Max Fury Road actor reacted, so mature, classy. When asked about her bachelorette party, Haley revealed that she was already married for like a year before marrying Justin Bieber for the second time in South Carolina in 2019. Rosie bust out laughing when she learned Haley had already married to Justin before her phallic-filled bachelorette party, adding, you already had the According to US Magazine, the couple had already exchanged vows in July 2018 and put rings on each other's fingers a couple of months later. Aaliyah Baldwin, Kendall Jenner, and others were also present at the intimate event, which took place in a courthouse in New York, by the way, in July of 2018. Super fancy for some celebrities. Meanwhile, in 2019, it was a much more fancy ceremony with like thousands upon thousands of dollars. Y you get it. And when talking about the challenges she faced as a newly married woman on the Ellen DeGeneres show, she said, I always like to be careful when I'm giving people advice because I, I don't want to come at it like I'm some expert. She also said, I'm newly married. I, I got married quickly. I'm taking it day by day and I'm still learning a lot. The model continued explaining, having time to be on your own and having the best experiences and, and to just like, like travel and having had that time I think was the most important thing. Going back to the bachelorette party, sources then revealed that it was her best friend, Kendall Jenner, who supplied the NSFW memorabilia for the event and bought a variety of hilarious gifts so that they could properly celebrate that night. Kendall visited the Hustler store where she purchased a buttload, no pun intended, of fun sex toys. Phallic straws, water bottles, candy necklaces, lingerie, and a veil for Haley to wear. An insider told E! News in 2019 at least. Cups, straws, and a pinata were also purchased, according to the source. Kendall, Maeve Riley, Kelia Moniz, and Natalie Manuel Lee were all in attendance for the bride-to-be's night out in Los Angeles. The dirty gifts, according to the insider, were a big hit with a bridal party. They went wild eating the candy necklaces and sipping their drinks from the straws. There was a lot of screaming and giggling, and maybe a bit of gagging, the source said. When Haley saw everything, she was dying of laughter and got a giant kick out of it all. It was the classic bachelorette party with all the fun props and silly toys. Haley wasn't shy about it all either and got right to playing with everything and posing for photos. About what she wore that night, Miss Bieber wore a white midi dress that was both elegant and affordable. Her strapless, ruched mini dress, which retails for $57, is from the fashion label O Poly. She completed the look with a bride statement necklace and a kitschy white veil, because a bachelorette party wouldn't be complete without those items, right? Baldwin clearly just wanted to have a good time and let loose with her friends, according to a source who spoke to People. She wore the dress first to dinner at Isabel and then to party it up at Delilah. Haley looked stunning in a white dress and veil. The group was in a wild, happy mood, the source said. You could tell Haley was very excited to celebrate with her friends. Oh, she was all smiles. The party seemed to have put everything in good spirits before the wedding, which is rumored to have happened in South Carolina. Justin and Haley are having a wedding ceremony and a party in September, since they only had a civil ceremony. It's very important to them to have a religious ceremony as well, a source previously told People. They want to get married properly in front of family and friends. 
It seems like they really had fun because the next day, Haley Baldwin was in recovery mode as she stepped out with her husband Justin Bieber in LA. The 25-year-old model looked as tired as a, a tired person and kept her head down while heading back inside for the treatment. She showed off her legs in S-back hoodie and seemingly no pants. Haley paired it back with a black beanie and blue sneakers. Her husband, on the other hand, was dressed very casually in white sneakers and a bucket hat and hoodie. Justin wore with it a black bag slung across his body and bright pink cutoff shorts. Haley appeared to be in need of a pick-me-up after her bachelorette party the night before her second wedding. And that's it for today, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to down an entire bottle of vodka right now. Or, or you can hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we will be sure to catch you guys in the next one.